I mean, I had to wait, I don't know, five days after oh, the lymph node was hailish. hit there to find out whether it had spread. And then mm. another week before I went to an oncologist to find out for definite what my treatment would right. be. I'm on a five years of a drug called tamoxifen, which mm. women that have had breast cancer will be familiar sure. with. Um, I haven't had to have chemo. I didn't have, had, have to have radiotherapy, which was a complete blessing for me. So I was able to continue work. Yeah. And in fact, I was, I was back on a plane two weeks after the operation. I don't know what I was thinking, Lorraine. Two weeks after I don't the know what I was thinking. you were working? I was, I was so practical yeah. about it. I thought, right, okay. And I said to the surgeon, I, I've got a, um, a ticket book to go to London. Am I going to be able to do that? Because I'm living in Cape yeah. Town. That's where I had the treatment. And he said, um, well, you, you might be able to go, yeah. So I said, so I don't need to necessarily cancel, no. So that was it. We were going to the UK. And Ollie, my son, came with me because we did Big Stars, Little Star. You did? So you did that? No, I had no idea. I did. any idea. No, I didn't. <laughs> and and you then did things that? were going pretty well. Yeah. And I did a bit more work. And then I came down with an infection, which, and that was what knocked me, funny enough, the infection. Mm. Not the infection itself, but they put me on 22 antibiotics a day to get rid of it, which floored me. And then two weeks later, I'm doing Spring Watch, which was... Spring Watch is a fantastic programme, but it's... I love it. It's, it's you know, it's intense. Yeah. It's a daily programme. There's no water cue. We write our own scripts. We learn them in the day. You know, them. It's, it's really... You have to be 100% mm. on all day. And so you should be. Yeah. But, you know, when you've gone through something that I've been through and then had 22 antibodies today, I, I just didn't have that sort of 100%. And mm. it was, so it was hard, it was hard. But we got through it. Nobody, you certainly did. You're, <laughs> you're an absolute trooper. No, you really are a trooper. Thanks, you really are. You're still able to smile about it and still getting on with it. And I know that you're doing a lot of, of work for Breast Cancer Charity as well, which is fantastic. Well, my main message is to say to people, have your mammograms. They're free in this country from 50. Yeah. And if you diagnose it early, then, then you can beat it easily. You're the living proof of that. Exactly. You are and the so, living proof of that. So that's what I decided to make it into a positive and, and become an ambassador and get that message across, particularly during this month, which is Breast Cancer Month. Of course, of course.